Jason with Gardner Fender's Technical Service Department. We're going to go over the B2000, Ben's 2 inch EMT, 2 inch rigid, and a half inch EMT. The first thing you do is you plug the unit in and turn the power on. Check your pendant, it'll show zero and the power light. Currently, the bender is in the rigid position, so we're going to start off by bending some rigid conduit. Load the conduit from this side. And we're just going to do some 90 degree bends. You'll notice with the B2000, you have these two arms here. This is your first locking mechanism, and this is the second one. If you have to play here, you have a problem. And we'll go over that after this bed. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to check to see where we're set to for bends. We're on the rigid side. It's set to 2 inch, and it's already set at 90 degrees, so we don't have to change anything, but if we were going to, we would check here first. And we'll come back to this when we have to do EMT. Now that everything's locked in place, we can just go ahead and hit our bend button. And it will automatically stop when we get to 90 degrees. Just continuously hold that button down, and I'm holding it down still, and it stops. The limit switches up top here are telling it to stop at the 90 degree mark. Now that we're done, go ahead and hit the return button. Hold that down, and you'll see while we're doing that, you'll want to unlock the machine and unlock the conduit. And it'll automatically stop when it hits zero. There we go. Nice 90 degree bend. We're going to switch up to do EMT. But in order to do EMT on this, we have to switch over to the other side. So there's a jog button on the pendant control. You hold that down, and then the return button. And once it gets going, release the jog button, otherwise it will just keep spinning. And now it will stop when it gets the dead zero mark, just like that. Now we're on the EMT side. So I'm going to go ahead and insert the conduit first. Just another 90 degree bend. Up here. So, here we go. So we're looking for the two inch mark. So you take this red, red mark here and line it up with two inches. That's set now. And then we take the dial and we set it to 90 degrees. Once it's set, just lock it in place. Now we're good to go. Arms are locked in place, dial set, repeat what we did with the rigid, hit the bend button. Again, you just hold the button down, you don't have to release it, it stops on its own. We do the same thing, hit the return button, and start unlocking the machine. It's a little bit different for EMT, EMT being thinner wall conduit, you're going to want to catch the conduit before you get to that end point when you're returning, otherwise it'll fall out on its own. Unlike with the rigid, how it was really stuck in there. Again, another 90 degree bend. Now we're going to do half inch EMT. There's a little bit of a trick for half inch EMT. We're going to go over that really quick. So, 
take a look here, we've got a stop right here, which stops the lower arm assembly. Right? This is specifically for the smaller conduit sizes. All right, so we take our arm here. We take the pin out and lift it up, spin it around. There's this block. This block is also a stopper. It's to stop it from going any farther back, ruining, ruining these, um, these rollers. And once it's in place, you put the pin back in. All right. Take our conduit. Set it in place. Of course, we have to make adjustments again. This is half a GMT. We don't have to switch the shoe around, otherwise, we would have done that first. Change the mark to half inch. Readjust this to 90 degrees again. And lock it in place. This machine is set up so you can do continuous back to back, 90 degree, 45 degree, whatever degree you want to set the, the machine at. You can continue to do those bends without changing this unless you change the conduit size. It's very important to remember. And another 90 degree bend. So some things to watch out for as you use the machine. This is the upper arm assembly, this whole piece here. Now, underneath it is a cam. And this piece is held together by a small bolt here. And this bolt should always be finger tight. So it may come on, it may come loose every once in a while, so every Maybe every other day or every other time you use it, just make sure that you're making this finger tight. Never tighten it down with a wrench. The other thing that you notice is that it's offset. It's not directly center of this piece. And when it's in its locked position for larger conduit sizes, it is offset towards the user. And vice versa when it's turned this way to do smaller conduit sizes. So, always make sure that this is offset towards you. The next thing, after you get this back in position, is making sure that it's locked. This is your first lock. This is your second lock. This is all the cam mechanism doing its job. Once it's in its last lock position, you're not going to go anywhere. That's why many technicians out in the field, this might accidentally, this cam, this upper arm, might get put back in the wrong position. Or sometimes technicians take it completely off, or it's been taken off for service and it gets put back on backwards. And what happens is that 
they'll go to put the conduit in and lock this in place and they'll bring this around, but it won't lock. So that's something to always watch out for. Always check before you use the machine so you don't waste any of the conduit. Aside from that, if you're using the B2000 a lot, make sure you regularly grease the cam and open up the side here. And make sure you grease all of the chains inside the machine. Another thing to check for, every maybe, maybe once a month, twice a year, you want to check your rollers. These rollers don't last forever. It's very important for maintenance to make sure that these are free of gouges and free of any wear. Because once these start to wear down, you're going to start seeing problems with your conduit. Your conduit's going to kink, it's going to ripple, and you don't want that in your conduit. None whatsoever. So make sure that you keep up on regular maintenance. Make sure you do an inspection on the machine every time you use it, and you'll be good to go. If you ever have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-624-4320 or email us at tech.support at gardnerbetter.com. Thanks for watching.